Turning now to education right here in our state this morning, we know there are teacher shortages in the classroom. Governor Brian Kemp introduced several proposals less than 24 hours ago to tackle that very problem. He's calling it the teacher pipeline package. Liza Lucas is in the newsroom right now breaking down the governor's plan. Liza, what's going on? Well, one of the most notable things, one of the things that people are most talking about when it comes to Governor Kemp's plan is this idea of bringing back more retired teachers, getting retired teachers back in the classroom in high needs areas. Now, under Governor Kemp's proposal, those retired teachers could potentially return and still collect both salary and their retirement, their pension. Another part that is also gaining attention is this idea of recruiting more veterans and also recruiting more from historically black colleges and universities when it comes to new teachers. Another big part is mentorship programs for new teachers. Now this all coming down from the pipeline plan and one of the big points that they're also bringing up is possibly bringing aboard Georgia's Teacher of the Year for the State Board of Education. They would be a non-voting member, but they would give teachers a voice as policy is decided. And that is something that the head of Georgia's Association of Educators thinks is a step in the right direction. It's not only that the educators are heard, um, because often we hear the educator voices being heard but the educator the herd is the end of the discussion we want the educators voice to have a meaningful impact on those decisions and the consideration of what has been heard to be at the top of the list when the decisions are being made so obviously this plan is getting a lot of talk and we have been following it very closely. Now experts say the shortage here in Georgia is not as bad as some states are experiencing, but it is still a problem that needs addressing amid declining enrollments in colleges of education.